Welcome back to OTB. I'm Chris Thompson. Not many things can survive a trip to Duke University, but our men's lacrosse beat reporter Jonah Carp has made it back to the hill, and you had quite a time down there in Durham. I did. I got to cover a great game. We'll look at that in just a moment, but I will say the weather, not ideal. It was raining. It was cold. Not what you want to see if you're down in Durham. That's why you want to play in a dome. They might want to think about that. Maybe in the future. Might want to think about it. Well, let's go so. down to North Carolina to see how it all went down. This matchup coming the day after the Sweet 16 matchup between Syracuse Duke in basketball. And this one was just as high scoring. It begins with Jamie Trimboli. Remember this name later. He puts SU up 2-0 early. Skip ahead to the third quarter. And Steven Rafis drives by, gets the goal. That puts the Orange up by three, but Jonah Duke would respond in a big way. In a huge way, Duke ended up going on a 4 nothing scoring run, and they took a lead into the fourth quarter. This was a huge momentum shift. The Syracuse offense just became silent. Brad Smith, he would put the Blue Devils up 13-11 to with this goal right here, but it was a total team effort for Duke. On the other side, though, one-man army, Brendan Bomberry. Brendan Bomberry doing what he does best at the end of this game. He ended up scoring four goals in total. That was the game high and it earned him Offensive Player of the Week honors. Finding the back of the net, he was critical down the stretch. That one came with 2.30 left in the fourth. Just 30 seconds later, Joe Robertson would tie it up at 14 and it looks like we're going to go to overtime. That's exactly what happened last year in the Dome between these two teams and Jamie Trimboli was the guy that won the game in overtime. A 12-11 win for the Orange. So let's let's come back to this here and it looks like we'll go to overtime again, right? Wrong. Jamie Trimboli gets the game winner. 15 to 14 will be your final score as the Orange takes down number three, Duke. Jonah, this is Syracuse's first win at Duke since 1938. That's incredible, Chris, but you got to feel great for Jamie Trimboli. He won the game against Duke two years in a row. He did it as a freshman in his first career start, scoring the game winner in overtime and doing it again this year in Durham, North Carolina, this time at the end of regulation. Do you want to hear from him? Let's hear from him. Uh, I think Nate had the ball behind, and uh, Tucker flashed really hard. It was a great uh, great flash cut, and Nate hit him. I think the wet ball maybe uh, influenced the pass a little bit. It was a little high, and uh, it went over Tuck's stick, but it, someone tipped it, and it fell right in my lap. So I scooped it up and just jammed it low, and it went. Jonah, it's been such an up and down season for the Syracuse Orange. This win, though, might change expectations. How important was the win? Chris, for my money, this is their most important win of the season. And the big reason is that it capped a two-game losing skid for the Orange. And now they head back home. They still have to continue their gauntlet of the schedule, taking on number seven Notre Dame coming up. But Syracuse had to go down to Durham, North Carolina, defeat Duke, which is something they hadn't done, Chris. Uh, as you said, since 1938. And Duke is the number one scoring offense in the ACC. Syracuse's defense has been pretty bad all season long, so this was a tough test. And they managed to pull out the victory. And another big test awaits this Saturday when the Orange hosts number, number seven in Notre Dame. What can we expect from that one? Well, this team is still kind of struggling to find an identity, but one thing we know about this team's identity so far is that, well, it doesn't come on the defensive end. Nick Mellon was incredible in this game. He ended up holding Duke's top scorer, Justin Gutterding, to just one goal. I mean, that's huge, but Duke still ended up scoring 14 goals in the game. So Syracuse still struggling on the defensive end. We'll see how they fare against number seven, Notre Dame. All right, he's men's lacrosse beat reporter Jonah Karp. Thanks so much for coming on the bench. Thanks for having me, Chris.